Yeah, good morning, it's Jim from jagfx.com. It is Friday, the 29th of May 2020. It's currently 5 12 a.m. local here in Da Nang, Vietnam. This is a look at my 12 hour high probability charts. The new candle for those was at 4 a.m., which was one hour and 12 minutes ago. So, this is just a um, had to wait for the spreads to come in as normal, then do up the charts, etc., and prepare the spreadsheets. Yeah, I had a huge sleep last night, so I'm still a bit tired. I went to bed about 7.30 and woke up at 4 a.m., which is a bit of a record sleep for me during the week. Must have needed it. All right, let's have a look at these charts. Get in, let's get going. Let's get going so I can get some breakfast. All right, here's my watch list on the right. This is trading view. These are all the pairs I'm trading. Highlighted in blue means trades have got open. No highlight, no trades. Highlight in orange, what I'm going to discuss in this video. So we'll start with a CAD Swiss. Um, all right, we had a new sell signal up here. There's a red dot and the QMP filter, which is this indicator on the price chart, which is just a combination of the MACD Platinum, which is a zero lag MACD, and another indicator that's not displayed called the QQE Advanced. So when the QQE crosses and the MACD Platinum crosses at the same time, it produces a dot on the chart, price chart, which I call a QMP filter. So it's hard to see, but there's a red dot up here. Got a bit of um, regular bearish divergence, higher high on price, lower high on the MACD Platinum, which is an oscillator. We're above the zero level, so I look to sell when it's above the zero level, and look to buy when it's below the zero level. The zero level is this dotted level here. So I took two trades on this new candle today. Started a sequence three, so a new sell completely. Um, and I also took a, on sequence two, I took a second sell. So sequence one, sorry, sequence one. So S1 stands for sequence one, and where it is is where the sequence starts. S2 is actually a buy trade with a stop in place, so I can't lose on that. So that's completely standalone trade. Sequence one, I've taken the sell, hedge buy, second sell. So sequence two is just a buy, sequence three is just a sell at this stage. You can pause the video, read my notes. So I've got two yellow dashed lines here, they're break even levels. One's the overall break even level for all trades, and the other one is for just sequence one the break even level. So you can read the notes there, it hasn't got far to go to break through and break even on all trades, or at least get some profit. So that's a CAD Swiss. Next cab off the rank is a Swiss Yen. Yen pairs, as I keep on saying, been tough to trade. All I've done is taken a second hedge buy. There's a new buy signal here. This is not a standalone trade at all. It's just a buy. You can see here I've taken a sell, hedge buy, second sell, second hedge buy. Uh, I could probably get rid of that overall break even level because that's not valid at all. So yeah, there's no overall break even at the moment. Hedge locking and a loss, as you can see my notes up here. Only the one sequence, MACD Platinum still above the zero level, now looking for another sell. Probably start drawing a couple of um, divergence lines in there, etc. So these red lines, trend lines are bearish divergence. Blue trend lines are areas that interest me, like resistance levels or nice trend lines. And if you see green, they're bullish divergence. So I just took a hedge buy there. Euro CAD, what did I do here? All right, Euro CAD. I was in a sell here. Uh, I'd already closed half when it got down near this resistant uh, support level. And I had a stop in place, which is a red dotted line. Last night, that was stopped out. So I lost $4.91 on that. That's been deducted from the profit to date. Now I've lost my cursor. How can I lose my cursor? My mouse. There it is. Um, so that's already been deducted from that. Now remember, all these trades are recorded on a shared spreadsheet. And that spreadsheet is a um, Google Drive document, and that's available. The link to that is in the description to the video. So everyone's more than welcome to check that out. 
just tidying this up so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so that's the sell taken care of. Now this morning there was a new buy trade taken here. You got a good support level here. MACD Platinum's not that far below the zero level, but it's still a valid signal. You know, you can say it's bounced the MAs of the 50 EMA, 100 EMA, and 240 LMA. Yeah, you can say it's found support there. Bit of confluence, as they call it. So I've taken a buy here this morning on the Euro CAD. Now, to my pet hate on the 12 hour charts, the New Zealand Swiss franc. I've been in trades forever. Have a look at this sequence one. It starts all the way over here, which is in when I basically started. The 12 hour charts, which is the 3rd of Feb. So, this is the 4th of Feb, first trade or fifth. Uh, so, I've had a lot of trades going. So, sequence one over starts over here is all these trades here. Sequence two, I'll do the easy stuff first, is a now a standalone buy trade. And because I've got a new sell trade signal today, I've moved my stop up on my buy to this level here. You can read stop moved up to 59497. So it's that red dotted line just below price at the moment. Sequence three is a new sell trade taken today. So I took two trades on this candle. I took the ninth hedge. <laughs> uh, ninth hedge, I should have wrote sell in there. It's a ninth hedge sell. I'll change that. And a, a sell. Sequence three, commence the sequence three. The MACD Platinum's above the zero level. And as I always say, I'm just chipping away, trying to um, add to my profit here. I've got some swap to deal with, which is a problem. And the overall break even before taking the sell was just in this level here. So I got that close to it. Just not quite getting there. So what the plan is now is to make uh, to add a little bit of profit on sequence two if this drops, if this keeps on going down like a probably should, <laughs> uh, it'll stop out that sequence two trade, it'll give me extra profit I can add to this total here, sequence three will go on a profit, the MACD Platinum will roll over, I'll deal with sequence three, then it'll come back up to the upside, then I can, depending on how sequence three is going, I could either start a sequence four or close out sequence three, and then look at adding to sequence one again. So it's just a matter of keep on working the right hand side of the chart while I try to get myself out of the, what I call the dog's breakfast on the left hand side of the chart. It looks ugly, it is ugly, uh, because it's the way I'm choosing to trade on the 12 hour charts. It's something I've, I'm stuck with and I've got to work my way out of. And it'll work out eventually, it just could take a long time, that's all, what is it now? May and this started in February, so it just shows you how long it's been going for. So that's the New Zealand Swiss franc. And that's it for the 12 hour charts, guys. It is Friday, so this will be maybe one more video this afternoon. And um, if you do like the videos, please hit the subscribe button, or if nothing else, hit the like button. That'd be greatly appreciated, and I'll speak to you guys later. Cheers.